the angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we now call to mind our sins. And we apologize to God, saying together, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Tuesday. The Mass today is being offered for the intentions of Tina Spiniello, Donna Sheldon, Brenda Guerrero and family, Judith DeMello and family, and Ave Bartolo and family. The Mass today is being offered for the intentions of Tina Spiniello, Donna Sheldon, Brenda Guerrero and family, Judith DeMello and family, Ave Bartolo and family. We pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, who is God, the second person of the Trinity, who lives and reigns with you, Father, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of Peter. Beloved, what sort of person should you be, waiting for and earnestly desiring the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be set ablaze and dissolved, and the elements will melt with fire. But in accordance with his promise, we wait for new heavens and a new earth, where righteousness is at home. Therefore, beloved, while you are waiting for these things, strive to be found by him at peace, without spot or blemish, and regard the patience of our Lord as salvation. You, therefore, beloved, since you are forewarned, beware that you are not carried away with the error of the lawless and lose your own stability, but grow in the grace and knowledge 
of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory, both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In every, in every age, age, O Lord, Lord you have been, been our refuge. refuge. You turn us back to dust and say, Turn back, you mortals. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in the night. In every, in every age, age, O Lord, Lord you, you have been, been our refuge. refuge. The days of our life are seventy years, or perhaps eighty, if we are strong. Even then their span is only toil and trouble. They are soon gone, and we fly away. In every age, age O Lord, Lord, you have been, been our refuge. refuge. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, so that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Let your work be manifest to your servants, and your glorious power to their children. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our heart that we might see how great is the hope to which we are called. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Some Pharisees and some Herodians were sent to Jesus to trap him in what he said. And they came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are sincere and show deference to no one, for you do not regard people with partiality, but teach the way of God in accordance with truth. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? Should we pay them or should we not? But knowing their hypocrisy, Jesus said to them, Why are you putting me to the test? Bring me a denarius, and let me see it. And they brought one. Then he said to them, Whose head is this, and whose title? They answered, The emperor's. Jesus said to them, Give to the emperor the things that are the emperor's, and to God the things that are God's. And they were utterly amazed at him. My brothers and sisters, this is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Most of you have heard that as disciples of Jesus Christ living in a fallen secular world, we are expected to live with one foot in this world and one foot in the next. We read in 2 Peter, while you are waiting, that is for death or the second coming of Jesus Christ, strive to be found by him at peace without spot or blemish. Beware that you are not carried away with the error of the lawlessness and lost in your own stability, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior. That is a lot to expect. And as I don't want us to lose the momentum of the 50 days prior to Pentecost and of Pentecost, note that this is only possible by the power of the Holy Spirit. My hope is that this most unique 50 days of COVID prior to Pentecost, between Easter and Pentecost, has awoken in people a bigger awareness of the role of God the Holy Spirit in our life. The balance that we have to achieve between this life and the next, because family has to be cared for, people have to go to work, bills have to get paid, and yet we are expected to store up treasures in heaven, not treasures on earth. 
How do we achieve this balance? It requires a tremendous sense of who God the Holy Spirit is in our life. So, very quickly, the ten ways God the Holy Spirit helps us achieve balance. First, the Holy Spirit is a helper who teaches and reminds us of what is true. Second, the Holy Spirit convicts the world of sin. Third, the Holy Spirit dwells in believers and fills them. Fourth, the Holy Spirit is a source of revelation, wisdom, and power. Fifth, the Holy Spirit guides us to all truth, including knowledge of what is to come. Sixth, the Holy Spirit gives spiritual gifts to believers. Seventh, the Holy Spirit is a seal in the lives of believers. Eight, the Holy Spirit helps in a Christian's weakness and intercedes for them. Nine, the Holy Spirit makes believers new and gives them eternal life. And finally, the Holy Spirit sanctifies and enables believers to bear good fruit in their lives. It is incredibly important that we become aware of God the Holy Spirit working in our everyday lives. One can tell that He is working by how one fulfills God's will, how one is balanced in this life, keeping Jesus Christ front and center. The church is going to be opening, hopefully soon. How? When? We're not exactly sure. We will be conducting, when the church opens fully, a Life in the Spirit seminar in the parish of Saints Peter and Paul. If you don't know what a Life in the Spirit seminar is, it is a very popular way that the Catholic Church has people meditate on the role of God the Holy Spirit in their lives, to become aware of God the Holy Spirit in their lives. The seminar is seven weeks one night per week, so seven nights in total. And it focuses primarily on how the Holy Spirit enables us to love as Jesus loved. That is the true sign that one is a disciple of Jesus Christ. So I'm hoping that when we do open, you will consider taking a Life in the Spirit seminar. A lot of what we have spoken about when it comes to God the Holy Spirit will be included in the Life in the Spirit seminar. And people, hopefully, with small group discussion, Bible reading, will come to a deeper understanding of what the Bible says about God the Holy Spirit, and not make us afraid of speaking about God the Holy Spirit on a regular basis. COVID has impacted all of us. And it has impacted me in such a way that I realize that we need to speak much more often about God the Holy Spirit. Frequency equals intimacy. And we want that deep intimacy with God the Holy Spirit. But in order to achieve that, we have to mention God the Holy Spirit much more often. So, I assure you, almost every homily will be focused on the role of God the Holy Spirit in our life. From now on, this is the only way that people will become more comfortable with mentioning God the Holy Spirit in their life. Because God the Holy Spirit leads us to Jesus Christ, guides us to Jesus Christ, and ultimately helps us to a deeper awareness of who Jesus Christ is in our life. Again, this is the balance that we need to achieve. In the Gospel, we read Jesus passes the test, obviously. Give to the emperor the things that are the emperor's, and to God the things that are God's. We live in this fallen world, but we are able to balance out the fallen world and the grace of God the Holy Spirit. But the only way to do that is to be aware constantly of God the Holy Spirit in us, enabling us to love as Jesus loved. God bless you all.
Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy them for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Tom Collins, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. In a special way, we pray for the soul of John. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. 
Let us offer each other now the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not ready that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us ask for Our Lady's protection, especially for the sick and all who care for them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray, we entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us shares of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve God and each other. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ.